You know, it's been a while since I did a random build. But needing some attachments for this baby. Well, they don't make any. So today, we're gonna build a greater attachment for this Haas. became apparent to me that the greenhouse and the pumpkin patch are way out of level. They've got big dips and, and hills and whatnot, but I can't just easily flatten it out because they're real long and gradual. So a greater attachment is a perfect way to do that. Run over it a few times, get it all the highs knocked down, fill in the lows, and you can kind of do that with a skid, but I can't get the skid in the greenhouse anymore, and putting it in the patch is just tears things up. So a greater attachment for this would be nice. Plus, if I make it so that I can switch out the attachment, I could do a rock bucket attachment, which I also need for the greenhouse because it's really rocky in there. So I kill two birds with one stone. I don't know if I'm gonna get to the rock bucket on this episode, but we'll definitely get to the blade and see how it works. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's build this baby. base main mount half inch grade 8 bolts all right so this may be strong enough but this frame is really thin so we're gonna put a plate on the underside down here and I'll use this notch and this there's a hole right here and then I'll probably do some kind of pinch on the other side we're gonna bring it up, we're gonna weld it to this angle. And then the main hitch that everything hooks to will be off the bottom of this. You see those lines, maybe? There you go. There was a hole in the frame there, a divot in the frame there. And then I'm just gonna do, just kind of pinch the flange on these two. Should be great. So here's the rub. This is a gas engine with a gas tank. Really not interested in setting that baby ablaze. So we're gonna take some precautions. All I gotta do is tack this. Famous last words. There it is. I gotta drill a 7 8 hole through a quarter inch plate. I'm about halfway through. It's working pretty well. Sorry you missed it. The other thing is, I have my shop set up in the other bay. My table and everything, the biochar machines in there and there's some other crap that's in the way, but it's a more ideal setup in this place, but uh, I got this bird nest that's above the door in there and the babies are getting pretty close to flying now. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna let them do their thing. I guess I'm a softy. I don't know. Not that I couldn't be in there, but you know, the mom is coming back and forth and then she doesn't come when I'm in there and it's, it's this whole big thing. Yo, I'm a big softy. Yeah, that hole ended up a little bigger than I wanted it, but it'll work. That's the axle. This is going to be the hub mount.
I'm using these stupid little things. I wish they were about two inches longer. All I have though. So I bought this thing at the pawn shop several years ago. It's been sitting in my work truck, just sitting in the back seat. Finally got it out a few months ago and put new belts on it. I don't even think I've used it yet. And here I am trying to grind a round thing with a grinder when I have this baby. So let's see how it works. That is so much better. Look at that. There was some jacking around. I got this done. Got these mounts for the front frame. This will be, there'll be a I'll piece of all thread through here that'll be the adjuster to raise it up and down. So that mount is basically done. I gotta put a something to mount the actual blade itself on, but that, that'll come later. I wanna get the whole apparatus done, see what the range of motion is, and then set the blade to that. I found this old project I was working on something like 10 years ago, and <clears throat> I never finished it, but I got some pipe, real thin wall, and I have two other sizes, so I'll be able to build this frame out of this pipe and it'll be a whole lot lighter than the angle iron I was going to use, which is swell, because I didn't, I was not sure how I was going to make it light enough to where I could lift it with the handles back there. About time for montage. Guess what time it is? Guess what time it is? Test drive time. I gotta say it's pretty great I don't need a blade deeper than two inches um, actually I could have one but it, it gets hung up 
and I have to, it starts bogging down and burying itself. So the two inch blade is actually, which actually this ends up being almost three, it's probably pretty good. So I'm just gonna keep it. I ran through here, I've spent 10 minutes just hitting this side. And it's amazing because I can see the big dips. The big dips are the ones I'm worried about. The little dips, it fills in nice too, but where they're like two bays long, I could see it. As I'm coming into the dip, it picks up dirt because I start going downhill. And then as I go out of the dip, it drops it. So if you go back and forth across that hole a few times, it's going to level it out. And it already has quite a bit, just in the one, just one pass over this side. It's great. Definitely great. So I slapped the coat of paint on this baby. The yellow doesn't quite match, but if you're wanting to paint something and roughly match Cub Cadet yellow, that is cat yellow. And uh, Rust-Oleum makes farm equipment, paint, shaker can, Rust-Oleum, cat yellow. Also, I switched out the blade. Went from a two inch angle to a three inch angle. The angle I had on there, I used it in some other patches and it started to look like it was smiling, so I got rid of it, put this one on, I had to lower it anyway, or raise it actually. So it came out alright. The welds on this are absolute crap, I'm not going to zoom in on them, because I was using a stick welder and I'm not that great anyway, and the tubes are really thin and the angles are thicker, I kept burning through. I'm one of those guys I'd rather just get the project done than have to try to work on setting the machine just right so it welds right. Just because they want to get stuff done. And I'll probably pay for it. It'll probably break and I'll have to fix it. That's the price I'm willing to pay because it's done. This is it. Seven foot wheelbase. Works like a charm. A little hard to get in and out of the greenhouse. But once you're in, you're in, buddy. Got these nifty handles. I got to paint them still. A little piece of pipe on a bolt. They crank real nice. You got to hold it right there and crank it. But there you have it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe button. And we'll uh, we'll keep this thing rolling.